So, hi Shimmy Shaker, welcome to today's tutorial and workout. And today we are going to do some drills and a workout that is specifically designed to improve your shimmies. So I know through Belly Dancer Diaries, one of the most common questions I get asked is, how do I improve my shimmies? I can't do my shimmies or I can only do them on one leg. How am I going to be able to do them? Uh, so in this video, if you keep doing this, this is really, really going to help. Try and do it a couple of times a week and I promise you, you will see a difference in your shimmies straight away, but also over the long term. Okay, well let's warm up. Spreading out, so you have nice room around you and loosening up through your back. So in this, I'm gonna teach you how to do an Egyptian shimmy really strongly. Reaching up and over. And a lot of our Egyptian shimmy comes from our legs. So important to warm up our legs properly and come back in. And if you have any problems with your knees, just be careful with this one. Bringing one ankle forward, then the other ankle forward. So you're getting that stretch through your feet. You can do a little roll out through your shoulders as well. Other way. Okay, a little stretch. We're coming one side, then the other. So getting some energy into our adductors, which are the muscles on the inner thigh. And if you feel all right, you can reach one arm up, other arm up those hips back further. You can even step out a little bit wider. Okay, coming back to centre, feet out wide. We're coming to a little squat, then reach. So as you reach, coming up onto your toes. As you squat, keep those knees out, hips back. And hold it down low. We're going to use these muscles a lot in our shimmy. So nice ones to warm up. So your weight should be back. You should be able to lift your toes off the floor. If you can't lift your toes off the floor, it means you're too far forward, which is bad for your knees. So you want to sit those hips back. And then coming up, reaching all the way up. Trying to get that balance as well. Good, keep holding. Trying to keep those ankles straight and a minor wobbling. <laughs> and coming back in, just swinging out to the side. One side, then the other. Switching on through those glutes to get that squeeze, to get that upward motion. And coming back in, nice hip circles around. Just loosening up through your hips. And other way. So if you're new to belly dancing, this is still a great video for you. I'm gonna teach you how to do our moves other way. And if you're a seasoned belly dancer, this will be really good for you to practice and get those awesome strong shimmies. Other way. And back to center. Bring our hips one side, then the other. So just sliding through, we're changing the weight from one side to the other. Keeping your feet hip width apart. And flick it out. So you're using that knee to sharpen the accent, to get the hip cross. Keep your posture up nice and tall. Our pelvis stays tucked in, our chest stays up. Arms out, to the sides, doubles. One, two, one, two, one, two. A few more. And shake it out. Nice work. Okay, what we've all been waiting for, getting into our shimmy. So remember, we start with our feet hip width apart, pelvis tucked in, chest up, and slam down on the boardroom table. We're bending one knee, then the other. So remember, when you bend, you want to get that nice big movement in the knees. So if you've got bad knees, as I said, get your doctors okay before you do this one. Otherwise, holding those knees strong and speed it up. Nice and strong, nice and strong. Okay, we're going to get into our thunder shimmy on the floor. This is one of the best ways to improve your shimmy, especially if you're finding it difficult on one side. So you can use a mat, you can use a carpet. Bring your feet out in front of you. I'll show you this way, it's probably easy to see. We're bending one knee, then bending the other, bending one, then the other, 
and then coming into your thumb machine. So with this one, if you're worried about hyperextending your knees, just get a rolled up towel, put it underneath your knees so you're not going to extend all the way. Otherwise, sitting up nice and tall, still keeping that one knee bent than the other. So um, hopefully you can see my knee's coming up quite a lot. So my knee's about that far up. If you're finding it hard to know how high to get your knee up, you can bring your hand just about that far in front of your leg or above your knee, and then try and hit your hands as you come up. Just doing this for a little bit longer, holding strong. Okay, next challenge, just one leg. So keep that one leg going, other leg stays nice and relaxed, we're just working through one leg. So usually this is where most people find a challenge in trying to stay with that one leg. There's always one side that's harder than the other, but this is where we're going to improve both. So you can get a really strong shin in both legs, and also when you're doing one leg by yourself. Keep going, keep going. If you're feeling you're getting really tight through here, you can lean back, still try and keep your spine nice and long. Stay with it, stay with it. So the idea is if you can get this into your muscle memory by doing drills like this, you won't need to think about your shimmy when you're doing your shimmy, and that's when you can layer on top, that's when you can keep it really strong. When you're constantly thinking, okay, bend straight, bend straight, bend straight, of course we all start that way, but it means our brain's then not available to do other parts of the move on top. So if you can just get this into your muscle memory, you can try and get the shimmy without thinking, that's when everything will click and you'll be able to get it, you'll be able to get those layers. So if you're new to belly dancing, layers, it's basically doing two moves at once. So you might be doing your shimmy, you might do a hip slide on top. So that's two moves, our shimmy and our hip slide. And basically you can add a shimmy onto any move with belly dance. I can't think of one where you can't add it on. Maybe turns, maybe you wouldn't add a shimmy on top of turns. <laughs> Okay, still going with that same leg, doing really well. Did you start with your strongest leg? <laughs> Stay with it. Okay, other side. So we've let that leg relax now. Other leg is going up and down, up and down. So again, you can keep your hand over your leg. I'm trying to just get the movement, try and sit up straight too if you can. If you need to, you can lean back, but otherwise try and sit up straight. The more upright you sit, the more you can feel it working through here. Keep going strong. Did anyone start with their better leg? If you did, write in the comments. That means this leg is the leg you find harder. <laughs> so if it's your first time doing this workout, all these drills, just notice how it feels. Try and remember how it feels now. And then next time you do it, see if you can feel the improvement. Let me know in the comments how you feel. Both times, it'd be great to know how you feel both times. So we're still going. So hitting that leg against the floor. Still keeping that knee working. Still sitting up straight. And this is one of these moves that you feel the benefits straight away, but you also feel it over time. Okay, let's go into both knees again. One knee, that knee up. Oh, how much easier does that feel doing both now? No, it definitely does for me. It feels a lot stronger, a lot more powerful. Keeping that shimmy strong. Come on, let's go to the end of the song. I know you can do it. Stay with it, stay with it. Keep breathing. Imagine how good your shimmy is going to look after doing this. <laughs> I should say as well, if you're finding it hard to go faster, it's fine to stay slow, but still try and get the movement. So it's most important to get the height with these knees. And that's why on the floor, it's a lot better to do it because then you're focusing on the knees coming up. It's easier to see the knees coming up. Whereas when you're standing, it's a different position, so it's harder to get. And here, we're building up those muscles, so then it'll be a lot easier when we're standing. Okay, nearly done. Keep it strong. <laughs> okay, and then coming 
straight up, straight into your shimmy. Oh my goodness, how good does that feel? It does, doesn't it? It feels like such a release. But you can also get those knees working again. So I'm still keeping those knees strong. One forward, then the other. Yeah, I'd have to say in belly dancing, one of my favorite moves is the shimmy. <laughs> I guess for my body shape as well, it just suits me. Of course, I like lots and lots of moves in belly dance. So keep it going, nice and soft. Releasing through here, but strong through here. Keep your posture tall, a little faster. Good, good, good. Stay with it, stay with it. If you're wearing a coin belt, you want to hear all those coins jingling. Okay, we're staying with our feet parallel, but we're going to let one leg stop. So this leg is going to stop. This leg's going to keep going. So still get that bend and straight in the knee. And we don't really do this as a belly dance move, but it's nice as a drill. So if we're doing it as a move, often we'll bring the other leg out, or one leg in front or behind. But today, to get that one-legged shimmy, we're going to work strong through that one leg. Try and keep it going, keep it going. Okay, other side. So just this leg, even though our weight's on both legs, we just want that leg shimmy. So by now, you should be able to tell which is your stronger leg. This one is definitely my stronger leg. Oh, that may end that when I was on the floor, I started with my weak one. <laughs> Good to know. Keep it going, keep it going in the knee. Keep this part relaxed. And change sides. We go this side. Other side. So try and get that switch. Doing really well. I know it works your very brain hard as well. Other side, just that leg. Keep your posture up, keep breathing. And other side. This one's nice for framing your hips as well. So if I'm here. <laughs> okay, staying with the shimmy, coming back into both legs. This time, we're gonna step one foot forward and just shimmy on the front leg. So we're coming forward, just shimmying on the front leg and changing. Other leg forward, just shimmying on the front leg. So again, even though my weight is also on my back leg, I'm trying to just shimmy on that front leg. Again, you should be able to tell which side is stronger for you. Change. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, Three, two, one, 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 four, three, two, back to center. Nice and strong. Now remember as well, I'm not sure if you're doing this already, hopefully you are, but you want to keep your heels on the floor when you're learning your shimmy. So remember you want to come from your knees. You don't want to come from your feet pedaling up and down. That's a different move. <laughs> Keeping our heels on the floor. Important to get your basics right. So nice and strong. Okay, this time, weight all on that one leg. So try and keep it on that one leg. Try and keep shimming. And both legs now. So even though our weight is mainly on this leg, let's try and do both. Other side, one leg to begin. Keep it strong. And both. That's it. Other side, one leg, reaching up. Other side. Other side, both legs. Other side, both legs. One leg. One leg, and both. Can you see the difference? Can you feel the difference? And one, and one, and both. And both, and back to centre, shimming both legs, nice and strong. 
hand out. Keep going, keep going. Okay, this time we're gonna add in a hip slide. So still keeping our weight on both feet. We're bringing our hip out to the side. Bring the weight slightly more onto this foot. Other side. Keeping your chest up. Other side. So this is a move that we use. We can use it as a drill. It's also a move that you can perform to. Other side. Keep going. And let's speed it up. Side and side. For some reason I always do these arms with this one. But it's nice to keep it out strong as well. It's nice to frame your hips too. You can change your arms for this one. Work with something really beautiful for you. Good, good, good. Keep with it. Stay with it, stay with it. Side to side. If you need to break it down, if you need to go slower, please do. As long as you get in that move, over time you'll be able to build up that speed. And back to centre. Ooh, we've been shooting for a while now. Even this practice by itself, it's gonna really help you improve your shimmies. Okay, we're working towards our forward and back step. One foot forward, shimmy. Now shimmy on the foot that's in front, and then shimmy as you take it back. And back. So watching from the side, we come forward and back. And forward, shimmy on that front leg and back. Okay, now as we transition, we're doing a little shimmy on that transitioning leg. Little shimmy and then back. Little shimmy. Then forward. Little shimmy and back. Little shimmy and forward. Little shimmy and back. Little shimmy and forward. So one leg at a time. Little shimmy and back. Little shimmy and forward. Other side. Shake it out first. Forward. Little shimmy and back. Little shimmy and forward. So that leg, the weight that's on, the leg that the weight's on, that's the one shimmy. Change, little shimmy and back. Little shimmy and forward. Little shimmy and back. Little shimmy and forward. Let's speed it up. We're coming forward and back. So you can see as I'm stepping that leg forward, this one is really good. If you can get this one, you've got your layered shimmies because what we're doing is knowing which foot's on the floor to know which leg to shimmy. So when this foot's up, we're not trying to shimmy, otherwise it looks a bit funny like this. But as soon as it lands, we shimmy here. As soon as we change, we're shimmying here. As soon as we change, we're shimmying here. So this leg, this leg. One, two. Again, let everything relax. Start it slower if you need to. Build it up. Keep that shimmy going if you can. One leg then the other. Try the other side. See if that's easier for you. And then if you like, you can add in the arms. This is one of my default moves. So every time I don't know what to do in a performance, it's this move that comes out. It's good because you can travel with it as well, which is what we're gonna do now. We come to the side. So keep that shimmy going. Other way. So to change sides, all you're doing is bring that foot back to centre. Keep that shimmy. Nice and strong, nearly there. Okay, this time coming to the centre, we're coming in a circle. So see if you can go to each corner. So forward, side, back, and side. Keep going this way, forward, side, back, and side. Back to centre, shimmy it out. Okay, doing the little circle, other direction. Forward, back, side, sorry, back, and side. Forward, 
side, back and side, keep going, forward, side, back and side, forward, side, back and side, back to centre, nice and strong, okay let's give a really strong shimmy. How easy does our basic shimmy feel after doing all those other moves? Oh my goodness. <laughs> if you're up to this point, you're doing really well. Let me know in the comments. Have you made it this far through? Thumbs up if you have. Well done, awesome job. Keep going strong through those legs. Keep this relaxed. Remember we're building it in our muscle memory so that we don't even have to think about our shimmy. So don't think about the shimmy. Just keep everything going. Keep breathing, and then bring your hips around in a little circle. So a little circle around. Keep that shimmy going. Good, good, good. And other way. Keep it strong. Again, one way is going to be easier. Focus on the circle. See if you can do the shimmy without thinking now. That's when you got it. Back to centre. Nice and strong to the end. We're nearly there, we're nearly there. Keep going, keep going. Good, good, good. Keep the shimmy. And around. Nice work, well done. It's time to stretch, awesome job. So just coming down, releasing through your lower back. Little bend in your knees if you need. Dropping your head. Releasing through. And gently coming all the way up. Bringing one leg in, hold on to something if you need. Knees together, hips forward, feeling the stretch through your quads. Need this stretch, especially after all that floor work. So how did you go? Did you make it all the way through? Let me know as well if this is your first, second, third, fourth, however many times doing this workout. Other side. So what I love about belly dancing is it's really good for our body, really good for our posture, but it's really fun. <laughs> Isn't it fun? And it's nice to connect with your body in different ways. Similar to yoga, you're doing different moves, so you don't necessarily know where you're weak, where you're strong, and then when you do the move, you think, oh, learned something new about myself. <laughs> Bring one leg back, heel to the floor, feeling the stretch through your calf. And let's just reach it through at the same time, feeling the stretch through your shoulders. And other side, heel to the floor, opening up through your chest. So if you have any requests for workouts, please let me know, right in the comments below. We've got a veil workout coming out. It's gonna be really, really good for our arms. And bringing your right leg behind, bring your right arm over, feeling the stretch through the side of your body. Also let me know if you wanna see any footage from our performance. We managed to get good video this year, which was great. I've been watching them again and again. Oh, my students look so good, it's amazing. <laughs> Coming back in, dropping your head to one side, feeling the stretch through your neck, keeping the opposite shoulder down. Back to centre, other side. Feeling it through the other side of the neck. And back to centre, head straight down, feeling the stretch through the back of your neck if you need more. Use the weight of your hands. And then back to centre, chin to the ceiling, keeping your mouth closed, feeling the stretch through the front of your neck. And back to centre, shake it out. Awesome work, everyone. Well done. I hope you enjoyed this workout. Thank you for joining me with it. All the best for your nice, strong, fun, layered shimmies especially. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.